Vakfu, Volume 2 The Legend of Jiva Chapter 6 Al Groot Loves Jiva The Crossmas is the West universe filled with magnificent worlds where the possibilities are infinite, allowing the gods to play the roles of omniscient creators omnipotent in the best possible conditions. But there is one world source of their power that the twelve gods cherish more than the others, the world of twelve. This world is subject to certain rules that have no comparison elsewhere. The most important of them, that curious variable that mortals call time, created by the god Zeller himself, the grand clock time offers the residents of the world of twelve, fleeting and complicated. Fleeting, complicated, but exciting for anyone interested in their stories. Each of which is survived by an immortal guardian whose mission is to ensure the smooth running of the sea. Twelve primordial gods, twelve months, twelve guardians. That is what the cosmology of the world of twelve roughly consists of. And that alone is sufficient enough to create one joyful mass. Therefore, the world of twelve is given twelve months to quantify the time that passes. What's more, a few hundred years ago in the royal parish of the guardian Jiva, an event took place during which romanticism rubbed elbows with tragedy. And as always, the source of the problem was a wild crook. A horned crook, fearing neither god nor man. I truly appreciate the finesse and delicacy of your creations, Jiva. Your garden is incomparable treasure that must be coveted by the god Inotroph himself. A demonic crook going by the name of Jowl. The delicate beauty of your ice flowers have no comparison. Much like you, my dear, their sharp edged beauty conceals a profound fragility. And honestly, I am moved even flustered being able to speak to the artist responsible for these delicate and sublime works. However, I cannot help thinking that this artistic masterpiece is missing a touch of color. Joel the Pure Land, you will pay for your intrusion in my kingdom! Rather than speak further of your creations, if you will, I did tell you that it needed color. Rat, if you ask me. You do know how much I despise you, do you not? From the very first moment I laid my eyes upon you, I immediately wanted to break your insolence and your confidence. Little favorite of the gods, you always believed yourself safe, didn't you? Oh! You have good taste, brave Jiva. Very good taste. Do what you will. After me, another will come, and another after him. You aren't immortal enough to kill all of us. Oh, so much the better, my dear. I adore these tender moments. I only hope that the others will also be as aggressive as you. Ah! That's enough! Joe, uh. infamous sadist, I'm only giving you a few moments to leave this place. Why? Look here, the bashful lover! Oh, Groot, what happens here does not concern you. Return home and allow this monster to continue torturing you. You are proud even now, sweet Jiva. Return from where you came and let the course of history pass. I beseech you. Our masters forbid us to a lie. You know the rules just as well as I do. Saving me will not change my feelings for you. How cute you two are. Do not make me repeat myself, Joel. Oh, good young fool. You have been a guardian for so little time. Go back to your rat hole. And you still have a lot to learn. Perhaps you're right, Trash, but today... You're the one getting a lesson! Ah. Fool, I told you to leave me be! And I heard you, but I'm not going to! 
idiot! What right have you to intervene in my affairs? You are a guardian of Martala. Busy yourself with that and let me manage Javian. Leave now. Leave. I order you. I know. I must leave. But I will not do it. You can cry, scream, strike me. You must. No matter what you do, no matter what you say, I will not allow anyone to bring you harm. Fool, you don't stand a shadow of a chance against Zhao. All you're going to succeed in is a companion and mean death. I think that nothing else would bring me more pleasure. Where you go, I follow. Behind you, he... he returns! Yes, he returns, and he is not happy. Oh, Groot, young guardian of the month Martala, prepare yourself to weep, something other than laughing. Just give me a moment to equip myself. Come to me, my Shurubims. Hey, good day, Master Zhao! What would please you this time? A fine sharp raider? Personally, I see you with something heavy. Something with a kick to it. Nothing kicks more than a bow with this. Oh la la, my little Shurubims. With you, the choice is always so complicated. It's true that I could chop them up. But I'd rather do some grinding for a change. Why doesn't he ever choose our weapons? Whatever happens, I promise you that he will touch you no longer. Stop playing the hero and... I do not play, Jiva. I am a hero. Ah! Shurubim's no like Lothnin! That's it. Come here, sweetheart. I wanna see what color your blood is. That's for taking me for a mere truffle. It prickles, no? Oh, Groot! It stings a little. A grit. But you're going to have to do worse! Little shit. This little shit is going to give you everything he has. I hope you're ready to go, Joel. What? Where does your energy come from? My actions have put you out of service. <laughs> Jiva. Your hero is a little more volume than I thought. Leave her and come play with me instead, Jao the Panicked. I'm afraid that you do not yet understand. This is a fight to the death. Pathetic madman. Oh, Groot. You so want to be the frigid. You'd go to the point of sacrificing your miserable life? My life is pathetic in every way, except in that it will allow me to save the one I love, with the added joy of giving you a good trash. <laughs> Guardian of the Moth of Martella, you have made yourself a deadly new enemy, and I swear that you will pay for this affront to me and one hundred fault. The most ancient and the most powerful of all of the Guardians. You... you succeeded. You defeated Joel. Oh, Groot! No! Oh, Groot! Guardian and the hero of Martella. I love you! And I promise you that you will hear me tell you that in person soon. Even if I have to return to the world to bring you back to my side.